Hello everybody and welcome to my review of the Motorola Droid Ultra, the new cell phone with the Verizon Wireless. Uh, I want to thank Verizon for the opportunity to review this device. Let's go ahead and start with the specs. So as far as the specs, uh, the phone has a 7.2 millimeter uh, thickness. As you can see, it's a really, really thin phone according to Verizon and Motorola is the thinnest phone on the market right now. Uh, we have a two megapixel front facing camera we have capacity bottoms they are not part of the screen so they're gonna they're not gonna take space from the five inch screen you're still getting the five inches um, we have down here the USB port no HDMI here on this side we have the volume rocker which is also the, the space where the SIM card goes into uh, this can be removed I'm not gonna do it right now we have the power button right here on top we have the 3.5 millimeter we have a microphone right there we have the 10 megapixel rear camera with flash and also the speaker grill right here we have the droid branding the Motorola logo Verizon branding at the bottom on this other side we don't have anything here at the bottom we also have another uh, microphone uh, right there uh, as far as uh, the resolution, we have a high definition screen 1280 by 720, uh, 5 inch diagonal, 294 uh, pixel density, Corning Gorilla Glass, 16 gigabyte of uh, storage, 2 gig of RAM. We have also a 1.7 dual core processor, uh, Jelly Bean for the operating system. And as far as the battery, we have a 2130 milliamp battery. The talk time is estimated at 28 hours. Let's take a look now at some of the features of the phone that uh, are very particular to this phone that Verizon and Motorola are promoting. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you guys is the Droid SAP application. Uh, basically, this uh, widget right here, we flip it, uh, we get access to Droid SAP. And what that does is basically allows you to share uh, files, pictures, or video wireless uh, and send them to other Motorola devices as long as they have the Droid Sub uh, uh, application on their phone. Uh, here we only need to click on to activate the feature. There's off, we click on, it's activated. Uh, from that point, we go into the gallery uh, we click uh, on uh, any of the pictures. Uh, let's do uh, let's do this one right here of this uh, kitchen. And basically, what we're gonna do is uh, swipe with two fingers up. And as you can see, it's saying "getting ready, sending code." Um, from this point, we're gonna use the Droid Max that I have right here to catch. The, the file. Uh, the way to do it is basically swipe with two fingers down. So as you can see it's saying looking around. Found something enter code. So we're gonna enter the code uh, that we received from uh, whoever is sending the picture so the code here is 1194 so we're gonna enter that code here click OK verifying code found something so now it's downloading the picture the picture is uh, downloaded already and there you have it that's the same picture that I have on the other phone. Same quality. You don't lose quality or anything. So that's uh, the Droid SAP uh, application. And this is uh, one of the main uh, things uh, of this phone. Or, or one of the features that makes this phone uh, different from the other ones right now. Uh, let's go ahead and take a, a look at another So the other one. feature that they are promoting right now with this phone is... Uh, the Google Now feature where you can actually can talk to the phone and give the phone co a voice uh, commands uh, in, instead of just clicking uh, on the 
Google search. And the, the, the reason for that is basically just to help you in case you are driving or you're not able to actually physically grab the phone and do anything. You can just talk to the phone. So the way it works, uh, you basically have to do the setup, uh, say the commands uh, three times so the phone can recognize your voice. After that, you just need to say, OK, Google now. What's the weather like in Washington? It's 71 degrees and clear in Washington. Let's uh, try something else. OK, Google now. How old is Osama Bin Laden? Osama Bin Laden died at the age of 54. All right, guys, so as you can see, it works pretty good. Um, so that's uh, the other feature that they are promoting that makes the phone really special. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at another. All right, guys, so the other thing that they are promoting with this phone is uh, the way you access the camera. Uh, basically, this is also very unique to this phone. i never seen this on any other device. And uh, you can, of course, you can access the camera by clicking on the icon. Uh, but for a quick access, you can also check the phone going like this. And as you can see, it access the camera. Uh, as far as the camera, guys, it's pretty good. It takes pretty good pictures. Uh, you tap the screen to take a picture. You tap here the uh, uh, camera icon to start recording. In order to access the gallery, we swipe to the left. And um, in order to access the settings, we swipe to the right. And here are the settings. As far as uh, filters and customization, it doesn't really offer much. It's uh, pretty plain and simple, but it does take uh, good pictures and video. So that's uh, the other thing that they are promoting with this phone. Another thing that makes this phone special with this other feature that I've never seen on another phone yet it's, a, it's an application called Assist. And basically what this does is uh, it works with the GPS. So it detects if you're moving and it assumes that you're driving. So uh, according to the speed detected by the GPS, uh, once uh, you, know, you activate this application, you can give different commands. As you can see here, it says uh, driving, stay focused on the road, choose your action zone. So I click here on talk to me, and it basically says uh, read text messages and tell me who's calling. Uh, you can change the different commands or, or responses that you want. And basically, the phone rings, and you're driving, you're in the car, and through the GPS, it detects that you're moving. This is going to answer the phone call or the text for you. It's going to tell you who's calling. And you can actually set up this to send a quick uh, response to the person. Uh, just saying, you know, I'm driving. I, I will call you back or whatever. Um, you can also, as you can see here, re resu resume uh, music. Uh, you know, after your whatever you're doing, depending on what you do with the application, uh, you can also use it for meetings when you're sleeping so this is a really good uh, cool application that the, it comes with the phone assist so as far as the uh, the main screen here the desktop we have these uh, widgets uh, we can minimize the widgets by clicking on the minus sign so we only get the main clock the access to the droids app or you can click on the plus and you get the weather and you get the battery widget. Uh, as I mentioned already, the clock is also uh, the alarm. And if you flip it, you get access to the Droids app. As far as the weather, you get access to the weather if you click on it. If you flip it, you, you can add more cities. The battery widget uh, shows you the battery percentage. Uh, you can click on that and it's gonna give you information of uh, how the battery is being used. Also, if you flip it, it gives you access to the settings of the phone. Um, another thing, guys, uh, as far as the phone keypad, uh, this is how it looks like. And here's a quick uh, 
test call to test the quality and the speakerphone. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Para español, la primera estrella. If you're so as you can see, the call quality is uh, very good. The speakerphone gets uh, pretty loud and clear. So that's that. We have the quadrant uh, results here. As far as the score, this phone scored uh, 8,598 points, which is a pretty good score for a dual core phone. So that's as far as the quadrant. Let's go ahead and take a look at something else now. All right, guys, uh, we're gonna take a look here at Facebook quick, and we're gonna do the zoom in and zoom out. We have this picture here, as you can see, very responsive. Let's uh, look at another one, let's look at this one here. Very responsive when it comes to zoom in and zoom out. We're going to take a look here at Google Chrome. Let's go ahead and open uh, CNN here. As you can see, the 4G connectivity works pretty good. We have four bars. Haven't had any issues at all with the 4G. Let's go ahead and open another one. Yahoo.com. So as you can see, it works pretty good when using the Google Chrome and the voice search. Uh, the phone comes with the five different screens. Uh, this is the main one. If we go to the left, we get an indicator here at the bottom. There is that one and there is one more. And if we go to the right, we got two more screens. Here's the access to the app drawer. Here's access to the widgets. And as I mentioned before, we get the capacity buttons at, at the bottom. We have the back home and the recent apps. Uh, you can use this to swipe to the left and uh, basically cancel or close all the different applications that you have open so you're not using battery. Let's go ahead and take a look at maps and see how it works with this phone. And let's do a search here. McDonald's. And let's walk navigate. Head west on Comstock Avenue towards South 36th Street. So that's how it works with the navigation pretty good, quick and fast. No issues with the connectivity. Alright guys, uh, I think I'm going to conclude the review here. I'm going to include some uh, pictures in 10 uh, megapixel uh, resolution and also a couple of uh, 1080p videos. Uh, uh, just uh, to give you my final thoughts, I think the phone is absolutely amazing. A beautiful phone, beautiful display. 5 inch screen, it feels really comfortable. It's not too big, it's not that small. Uh, it feels really comfortable on the hand. A very thin profile. I actually do like the glossy uh, material with the Kevlar. Uh, I see a lot of people complaining. I don't mind at all. I think it looks beautiful. I actually like it better than the matte color of the Droid Max. Uh, as far as uh, the performance, <clears throat> you've seen it. The phone, uh, it's absolutely amazing. You know, it can handle, handle the high graphic games. Um, no issues, uh, gets a good score with the quadrant, uh, good pictures, good video. Uh, the battery is amazing. As you can see here, I have a battery which I have 32% uh, remaining. Uh, I've been using this phone for 22 hours and uh, 3 minutes, so, and I've been using the phone heavy, and I still have 
32%, and according to the widget, it says I have here left 19 hours out. So I think this phone is actually exceeding the expectations in terms of the battery, performance, uh, cameras, everything. Uh, this phone is 199 right now with a two-year contract. Uh, so guys, uh, thanks for watching and subscribe. Uh, that was a review of the new Motorola Droid Ultra with uh, Verizon Wireless. Hey guys, this is a sample video here using the Droid Ultra in 1080p and we are looking right now at the Droid Max, the new Droid Max. And here we have the Samsung Galaxy Note 2.